You know what I noticed today? Your own face was ugly. She ordered at Starbucks. She ordered a, a chai tea, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. essentially just means tea tea. <laughs> tea tea means pee. pee. <laughs> It's I'm Corbin. I'm Ashley. Who are you? Oh, I'm TT. Ah. Uh, oh no. And he falls on Instagram. 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 Tired of not focusing on Instagram enough. Oh boy. Come on, juicy content. <laughs> it's he so wasn't, juicy. He wasn't it's incredibly that. loud. Uh, I'm sitting closer. You know what? Your your sensitivity to noise has increased since you now have a little one. I know. Even though he doesn't wake up to noise, really. But no, I it's. Know. <laughs> Today, we are doing a, a movie review. Uh, and Ashley's with us. Thank you for joining us, Ashley. You're welcome. Uh, she didn't see the movie. Me. She's just going to say yeah, no, no. She's just, just going gonna, gonna to imply what she thinks happened. Yeah. Makes what, sense. What should have happened. That's not true. That makes sense. I we, watched we should do a review where we haven't watched it, but we review it. <laughs> Inception. Let's see if anybody guesses. In Inception. It was really boring and non creative. <laughs> We should so do that with a movie. They'd be so mad at us if we did that to like something we've been asking for a long time. Anyway, but yes, we Read finally reviewed Tomasha. Tomasha. Uh, Want to read the snot for me, real quick, Ash? The snot. Oh. Oh, he's so okay. cool now. We're he calls it the snot. Uh, Tomasha is about the journey of someone who has lost his edge in trying to follow socially acceptable conventions of society. The film is based on the central theme of abrasion and loss of self that happens in an attempt to find oneself. Hmm. Interesting synopsis dun, dun, there. Dun. It's an accurate synopsis. Yeah. Uh, directed by, uh, say this name for me. That's that's you. Imtiaz Ali. Uh, Imtiaz Ali. Uh, we know him from Jack We Met and With Rockstar. a special shout out as far as I'm concerned right now, because it was noticeable at the very beginning. Well, of course. Yeah. That wasn't the special, that wasn't the one oh, I was thinking of. Composed by Air Rahman. But who, oh. yeah, the music was. What were you going to say, Rick? Uh, right at the very beginning. Uh, Ashley and I watched it together. We were, we almost simultaneously said within the first five minutes, this feels like Barfy. And I looked, and it's the cinematographer for Barfy. Oh, really? Yeah. That and this sense. cinematographer is something else. Yeah. Uh, but oh, yes, good. starring uh, Deepika Tarikon. Oh, sorry. Deepika. Deepi. Deepika. Deepika. Okay. okay. Deepika. I want to make sure we're finally saying it right. Deepika. 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 And uh, uh, Ranbir Kapoor. Ranbir Kapoor. And say this name for me. Justice for Ranbir. Piyush Mishra. Do you know who that is? That's Piyush Mishra. I just said that. Are you feeling alright? But do you know who he is? The dad. A man. No, but no. I'm saying as the... We just reacted to one of his songs. Oh, I did. I uh, recognize him. Hang yeah. hang that guy? Uh, uh, the storyteller. Uh, um, yeah. I recognized him at the very beginning, and it was very interesting. Ashley pointed out when he got really old, mm -hmm. he turned purple. <laughs> That's true, he did. Anyway, <laughs> but yes, uh, we'll finally reviewed. This can be a 100% spoiler review, so if you haven't, go watch it. Go, and seriously, go watch it and then come back. But, here we go. This is actually a very divisive movie. <gasps> How dare you say such a word? Don't. Because it was a flop at the box office. Was it? It was. Uh, people, Shocking. People did not go to see this film. Why? Uh, we I'm, didn't go because it wasn't here. <laughs> my <laughs> my yes, smart cookie understanding is that I, I, people, I know what you're gonna say. People didn't understand it. What? Or they also it's since it's actually a very different story than a normal Bollywood film. It doesn't have the typical heroine. <laughs> and it doesn't have all the fancy dresses all the time. It's not. It mm. doesn't have a huge musical numbers in it. True. Uh, and so I think a lot of people didn't understand. That's what I, that's what I've been told. But uh, people okay. wanted us to watch it. We saw a scene from it, and we've seen another song from it as well. Now so we've seen the movie. Now we've seen the film. So, yep. initial thoughts, Rick. Richard. It, it, um, it's, it's one of my favorite movies I've ever seen. Yeah! Justice for say his name. <laughs> Imtiaz Ali? Yeah. People, people said you had it out for him more than Randy. <laughs> Oh, really? It's Rockstar and Jab We Met. It's, it's the same director. Well, the only problem I had with Rockstar was his actress. <laughs> no, the people just pointed yeah, that out. No, like, and for Rambeer, but yeah, no, this is... This, when I say favorite films, this isn't just like favorite Indian film. This is like one of my favorite All films. I figured you would really enjoy this after I watched it. Yeah. And that's why I told you to watch it with Ashley. I wanted, I wanted a female perspective as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I figured you can relate to the story very it's much. Very, I, 
I said that Andrani asked me because she hasn't she hasn't seen it, so we're gonna we're gonna watch it together. Because mm-hmm. uh, I told her I want her to, and she says, "Well, tell me, tell me." I said, "I want the movie to tell the story. Let's just say I loved it, and it's personal." Mm-hmm. So yeah, so good. Yeah, yeah, deeply. Uh, and let's, yeah, oh. you would know. Yeah, that absolutely. Well. Yeah, uh, and we can talk about different love, aspects. Love, let's love, start love, with love, uh, love. let's start with the performances. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. let's start with uh, Ranbir Kapoor. Do we have some justice for him? Yeah, well, let's, for those of you... Why does he need justice? <laughs> okay, it's a big like... joke. She doesn't know. <laughs> I don't know the joke. Okay. When, when, I, when we were first getting introduced to Ranbir, yes. we watched Barfi, and yes. all I talked about was Priyanka. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Which is what I, when we watched it, I told you, yes, you're going to watch said. Priyanka, Priyanka, Priyanka. And he felt that, uh, I, what did you say about him? You said he... He was so angry. Yeah, he was so angry is what he, ah. Yeah, I felt he was angry most of the time, ah. and I didn't really like very much, and Corbin did. Mm-hmm. I thought I was stupid. Mm-hmm. And... A lot of the stupid babies agreed and said, you're stupid, why didn't you see that? And then I've, so I've, much stupid I have babies. since watched Barfi two more, three more times, I think, since then. And each time I've watched it, the second time I watched it, I realized I had a bias for some reason. <laughs> and then, and then it, he didn't enjoy the film Rockstar, even though it wasn't Ranbir's fault. He didn't enjoy the film. Yeah, the, okay. And so it kind of just built yeah. up over even though, time. Even though like it's just not it wasn't though. about him. Ran beer. I, I appreciated his work a lot in Rockstar. Mm-hmm. But there hasn't been a rave, jump up and down, I love Ran beer kind of Is this moment. your favorite performance of Ran beer? Yeah, 100%. Mine too. It was, it was okay. Greenius and Barfi. I, I, and I, they're so different, which is what's yeah. so great. Yeah. Um, but I, I just... This one I thought he did so, so well. You showed so much... Uh, versatility in this one and this is an easy one to screw up oh mm-hmm. yeah he could have really uh, th- this this role requires a really good actor mm-hmm. um, it was uh, so good <laughs> you could you could turn this into some cheesy stupid um, not believe he needed to be believable yeah and and he was a hundred percent believable. Yeah, I, so we talk all the what time did you I want to hear you think about oh I just loved it <laughs> <laughs> it was so good what about the performances though we'll talk about the yeah we'll just we'll stick with the right oh, now the I acting. think they I think both of them did amazing Deepika how do you mm-hmm. yeah DP Deepika because she's called DP oh yeah that's her, her nickname we used to call her da Pika yes and so Deepika Deepika Oh, it is two D's. Yeah, yeah what did you think about Topeka's book? I think she did great, but I always think she does great. No. She's just solid across yeah, the board. Yeah, because you've seen, yeah. seen Piku, so you've seen... Yeah. yeah. She was so good. She had so much fun. I just love watching her. Yeah. I don't think I've seen anything of hers that I don't like. Yeah, no. No, I mean, I, I've always... She's just always that good. I've loved her since... What was the first thing? Since was it, the was beginning it, was of Padmavad. time. Padmavad? Was yeah. that the first yep. thing? That was our first introduction to her was, was Padmavad. Yeah, I thought she was... She was what I actually preferred in that film even over Priyanka, which I know you, you were the opposite. Well, uh, uh, um, you mean in... Um, what was that? Pastrami. Yeah, Priyanka's in um, ba- Pastrami Masana. Okay, sorry. Yeah, whatever that, whatever that time was, uh, yeah. that's the one I preferred. But I thought she did really, really well. And I think one of the reasons also this might have been a flop is because the trailer portrays it as a rom-com. Mm. And yeah. it is not a rom-com. I don't think there's a lot of calm. In it's here. a rom drama. Yeah, rom drama. <laughs> there's not a lot of With calm. a tiny bit of calm. Yeah, a sprinkle uh, of calm. So oh, I think it was probably pitched incorrectly. I agree. Uh, and that maybe that's one of the reasons people thought it was going to be another um, Yai Juani, Hai Juani. Yeah, people probably came in with an expectation, and because of that, were sold short on a movie that had been. Which, it, it, which it's is, a shame. It's, it's, oh, it's ridiculous so because it's such a u- unique and a. a I don't know if you noticed, uh, my wife watched it with me, as she does, uh, and the reason she's not here is because it's called Our Stupid Reactions, not Our Smart Reactions. Exactly. She's the smart one. <laughs> well, Ashley's smart. She's just uh, dumb by association. <laughs> <laughs> <It's true>. Perfect. <laughs> but at the beginning, uh, have you read Catch-22? Yeah, in high school. Okay. That's what he was reading. Way back the... when? Back when there was no sun. <laughs> at the beginning of the film in Croatia, is that where they were? Or was it where? It was something with a C. Corsica. Corsica, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not Croatia. That, that little spot in France called Croatia. <laughs> but no, the, uh, he was Whoa. reading uh, Catch-22. Uh, and oh, then, I didn't pick up on she, that. When she went and said, you didn't pick up on that? I was looking at his face. Oh. Yeah, but, and so that's, she, she that's pointed why out she... at the beginning why, um, you know, it, he, the director was basically telling us what he was going to do. He's his yeah. trying to pretend that he's kind of going mad in order to get so, out of so it. No, I'm, I didn't catch the 22. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, talk about, let's talk about the film. Anyway. As itself, as, as the story of it and, and why it was so uh, creative. 
And I thought it was, I thought it was really unique because at the beginning you're like, oh, these are just two fun travelers mm -hmm. that are just really fun, go lucky people. And then, and then when it hits and she goes back and you're like, oh, like, what? what a deviant. She cheated <laughs> on her man. And then, it's, and then she's oh like, my. I gotta find this person. And then he turns out to be not who he was. Somebody completely different. And there's a whole bunch you can totally talk about different. there that, oh my gosh. did he, <laughs> was that actually the real him? But Ooh, she said so she feelings. knew him better than he knew her, but he was like, how do you know me better than I know you? And so it was one of those whole things, and my wife was like, you should listen to your woman. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. <laughs> we know you better than you know you. <laughs> it's true. Truth. But it was actually, I think, a very creative and uh, way to do that. And also, I've never seen, and from what I've heard, it's unique to Bollywood. The, everything about it, the very, the, when it started, Ashley and I were ready to just sit back, relax, and enjoy what we thought was going to be a fun rom-com. Yeah. And it started with that theatrical presentation of the clown and the tin man with the heart. <laughs> we both just thing. looked at it. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, I have no idea what this awesome. is. Awesome. This yeah. is so weird. Yeah. And okay, just a little shout out to the random weird singing dudes and the clowns. Yes. Okay. I love them. How much did you love those happy singing dudes? They were singing about the most depressing things. Which ones? When, when okay, she, so when she's back, and she it's goes just back like to Calcutta. Don't the, touch that. I'm not touching it. It was me. I elbowed it. Um, <laughs> when it's doing like the flash of all the it's like it's been a few months, it's been another month. Oh, the guy that kept singing. Years. Yes, oh, the guy yeah, that's just singing like this is the worst time. Yeah, this is the most horrible. Time. She's her so father sad. sad. Her yeah. mother sad. And I thought changing. I thought it was great when they they had the big when he was singing and on the stage and then it would just cut back to him yes. singing on the street. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot to say about Go that. ahead, the, all of that. So what else, good. What else would you like to talk about? Who, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who? Okay, well, <laughs> it, there, it's, it, it, hit, it hits home on a number of levels for me that are really, really personal. Mm -hmm. The first one is loving storytelling, being a storyteller and how storytelling is teaching. Number two, not letting the child inside of you die. And that's one of the reasons that people don't have happy lives as adults is because they, there's a, a really great quote from a book uh, that my buddy Tom Costello turned me on to, which is the, I think the title of the book is the five top things are the, that are the regrets of the dying. And one of those things is they wish they had the courage to live the life they wanted rather than the life that was expected of them. Mm -hmm. And I, I love that. I turned that into a tweet that said, have the courage to live the life you want, not the life that's expected of you. Societal expectations, fam familial expectations. And the, I thought it was really brilliantly done the way they portrayed him dealing with that as well as the way they would, they would go a really subtle and beautiful way uh, at the beginning point where we see so much of him as a kid. And then when he is realizing and coming to terms with the fact that he's not who he is or he even doesn't even know who he is, mm -hmm. we don't see the kid anymore. Mm -mm. And I thought that was brilliant. Mm -hmm. And I, th I'll tell you what, that, his monologue to his dad, great Ooh. monologue, Whew. phenomenal monologue. So good. I won't do that monologue. Yeah. <laughs> I, I oh love goodness. that monologue. Yeah. And on the personal side of it, uh, without waxing long on that is, um, I, when I was in my early 40s, early 40s, I had to come to terms years, with, like 20 yeah, years ago. just like 20, 30 years ago, I, <laughs> I, I came to terms with, okay, am I going to still pursue the things that I want to pursue or am I not going to pursue them? And there really wasn't an option because to not pursue the things that I'm supposed to pursue is to not be myself. Mm. Uh, and there were a lot of things that were pressing me that could have caused me to settle and conform into the expectations of every different kind of thing around me. And the fact... The fact that the, the, the thing that calls out from him his best and who he is, is this um, woman from Calcutta uh, <laughs> had a slight personal tinge that I think you could imagine. Uh, and I found everything of their acting at all times to be believable. I found the writing to be engaging and I thought it went from feeling like a rom-com and then turning the tables on us and becoming this incredible incredibly deep personal story that I was a hundred percent not only emotionally invested in but felt resonating inside of me the deepest values I have as a person about not giving up on your dreams mm -hmm. being the person you were made to be and I also thought it was really interesting and 
potentially groundbreaking, mm. that he was consistently being harassed as he drove to work by that woman who was on the street who he gives the <laughs> ring to. Yeah. That Somebody was, that's there who, I, I was interestingly, funny. was just, I was telling you about the uh, documentary on Amazon about Lady Boys. Um, whole other subject, but the whole concept of um, how many people in the world aren't honest with what they're really thinking and feeling and how many people who are honest with what they're thinking and feeling often get ripped and destroyed by society, family, and friends when all they're trying to do is be honest about who they are and the life they want to live. Yeah, I thought it was really interesting about, um, I was trying to figure out which version of him was real. Were oh, you? I was. Yeah, because I, I was certain. I had well, I, I'm full a, I'm a skeptic. And so I was, I was you? like, yeah, I know. No. So you really didn't think it was the little boy? The, well, that I, who I, he was in Corsica was the real him. Well, I had, I assumed that's probably where they were going, uh, <laughs> but also the the skeptic in me, I, I was like, maybe he just wanted to let loose. Uh, who who knows? And I thought it was, I thought it was great that the writing and the directing let you question. So she's saying that's him, but how 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 would she know? The real him. She only yeah. knew him for, we for what ten days, yeah, and we so, said that. Yeah, it's all you need. I thought it was. I thought it was really unique uh, to to bring up that question of certain people just don't know who they actually are. Yeah, and especially uh, they have a mask on and they don't even know that they have a mask on. Right, because that's where they think they're supposed to go. Right. Um, I didn't really relate to that part. <laughs> well, that's, that's actually a good question. When you were a teenager, because I had this and it freaked me out. Mm. I remember being self-observant. You too. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, when, I was at, when I was in high school, I remember I would be one way when I was around my buddy Rich and, and my dad, and I'd be one way when I was around some other people at school, mm. and then I'd be one way when I was around my mom, and I would have self-assessment and go, why do I do that? Why am I not this? Why don't I behave the same way? And bothered me. <laughs> it was like, I'm not integrous. What's going on with me? Who's the, which one of those guys is the real me? Did that ever happen to you guys? Uh, no. Um, I don't think I really questioned it. I know that I did that. I think I just cursed less around my parents. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was the same person, it's just less vulgar. And I think- and Not I, now though. I knew, I knew later on when I looked back on it, I knew what I was doing was not conforming in order to be accepted. And I was trying to be honest with myself. I was, what I was doing was becoming empathetic in the way you would uh -huh. as an actor and blending into their situation. Yeah, it was also different being, being actors, we often like to play people. 100. I did it at- yeah. So we do I, this all the time. I would do it at work when I was a waiter, I would just, Become a different person. Absolutely. Oh yeah, that was a lot of fun. I'd be British. I'd be so Irish good. for a day. Oh, I, did that as so a, fun. I did that as a telemarketer. I, w I used to be Irish all the time. But yeah, so I see thought, you did it in jobs. I just did it in regular I life. Thought it was really <laughs> <laughs> I would just go mini golfing, and I was from Birmingham. <laughs> so yeah, I thought it was really interesting um, the way they did all that. But I thought there was some great, great scenes. Obviously, that scene that we reacted to—the one at the bar where yes. Um, uh, you hadn't yes. seen that, right? No, I no she had not seen that. Yeah, it's even more. It was even more powerful, obviously, Way since better. we knew the context. So obviously, good. So that makes sense. But uh, it was such a good scene, and like we were talking about, I'm hoping most of it was improvised. Like, Ooh, I'm hoping like most of the time, way. like she, he was like, "Don't just do what you do oh, what you I feel." And they that. they knew, I think, what to do because, as we know, they were in a very serious relationship. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, you didn't yeah. know this no. about Devika and Ranbir? No. She was who she was with before she was with <gasps> Ranbir. The scandal. Yeah, no. Yeah. The, uh, and they were for, together for years and it was a bad breakup. But bad it was, breakup. It was... Didn't he, know. But this he was, was a few he years... He wasn't a good boy. <laughs> but oh, th no. this was a few years before they oh. broke up. No, this I mean, this was like three years after they after broke up. After the breakup. Oh, so all the history was there. Yeah. 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 Which, Which was well, something you can see in it. It's like, even if you're, you're like, I don't really want to be with you anymore, you still have feelings for that person and, and you know the history. You know the history and I, I could see that and we may be imposing it, but at the end, when he lays down and puts his hands toward her, oh. I, I was not seeing the characters in the movie. Mm -hmm. I was seeing Ranbir and DP. Do you like the end? Oh, I freaking loved the yeah. end. 
uh, the fact that it all came back. I loved him being himself and every once in a while the clowns appearing and cheering him on. Mm -hmm. And then it ending with him on the stage and he's himself, he's no longer the machine. And he turns to her. And without even saying anything, he's just letting her know and letting the whole world know, I, this, could, this happened because of you. Mm -hmm. And I really, I could sense a genuineness in, because it's my understanding that they get along fine. Oh now. yeah, no, they, yeah. Got, they did this in Yai Duwani, Hai Duwani after yeah. they broke up. And it's that, it's that, okay. um, it's that, I think they're the, doing another The one. mutual admiration of, even though we're not together and I know we're not supposed to be together, I cannot escape the fact that because we were, even though there were bad times, whatever that was, I am who I am because you were in my life. Yeah. And thank you. I thought it was, I just, oh, that I scene it. and the one where he went to her house and she kept trying to get him to come inside. Yeah. And he kept, which is another catch 22 thing because he was trying to pretend he was crazy. Because yeah. I was trying to figure out if he was also like schizophrenic. Because at times it's what it felt like. But when she explained I to me, because I haven't read Catch-22, um, that <laughs> he, he was trying to play so he wouldn't have to face what he's actually feeling. Yeah, he's just like you know. feeling, where, when she said, I think I hit a nerve, it's like, you absolutely did. Right, <laughs> That's 100% what you did, and, and that's why. I'm I thought the marriage proposal scene was really good, too, because I was wondering what they were going to do with that. Was like, she good? Oh, I was like, you don't like this guy. Are you actually going to say yeah, and you yeah. pointed out as well, and I felt the same way, it was kind of, they did such a good job in the writing and the directing because on the one hand, she, we were like, Ashley pointed it out. She's, what, what? I was annoyed she with her. Said I was something like, way sooner. You've gotten to the point where he yeah. wants to propose to you and yeah. you haven't said anything. Yeah. That, that no, clearly no, no. this guy isn't the guy you met. But, and then I thought so it was, was not being in honest. that scene at the bar. She was basically saying, I'm sorry for everything. And yeah. now she's saying she wants him back, which I was like, do you? Or are you oh, just sad? Right. <laughs> and don't you think he got angry that she was apologizing because she doesn't, that's why he was saying to her in that scene, you, you want the, you want the, you're going to cheat? You want the imposter? I thought you wanted the me from Corsica or do you want this nice guy? Yeah. And so he's mad at her for saying, why are you saying I'm sorry? Like you can't do. You're, you're the like, reason. <laughs> the fact that you did what you did is making me be who I am. I thought it was so so. I'm getting rich. better. You're screwing it up again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then he finally found himself in the oh. end, and lucky. And a lot of stupid babies, because I've talked about this a lot on Twitter, this film, because it's such a hot button thing. Some people didn't see it just because a lot of Indians don't see things that are considered flops, mm -hmm. which I found ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Don't please. do that, guys. Just Flop? judge it on your own. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I thought it was, they said, so, but they said that it's really relatable to Indians because of a lot of Indians are like red beer. It's stuck in, oh, it's yeah. stuck in oh my like, gosh. a job they didn't really want. Yes. And they, well, they actually wanted to follow their passion in some art form or so, whatever. And the parents are like, no, you gotta yeah. do this, 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 and, and so this. And so a lot of them was really personal to them. Yeah. Um, the, yeah. Didn't this, this is a completely different kind of film, but any film that touches on this subject about being who you really are, mm -hmm. no matter what the pressure is from family and friends, it always takes me back to Dead Poets. Oh, oh no, you can't go there now. Yeah. When he, when he shouted, if you haven't seen Dead Poets study, oh. stop, just stop just watching. Just stop everything you're doing. Just watch one more ad and then go <laughs> watch Dead Poets Society. No, go watch Dead Poets Society um, now. When, when Ranbir, it's toward the end, he's walking, it's after he has flipped out at the office and he's now fired. He walks, and it may have been after his talk with his dad. Do you remember when he screams? And I, when he screamed, I said that was his barbaric yap. Mm. Oh, that was like the very toward end. the very very yeah. end. It was just before he goes, I think, on his dance with the clowns. Yeah, and it was like that was his <laughs> barbaric <laughs> yap. That was his being. And when you see dead poets, you'll know what that means. Uh, I, I, so yeah, this is. How many times did you cry? Did both of you cry? Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I cried everything. I, I, <laughs> I cried literally everything. It's, yeah, it's not going to get better. <laughs> no, it's going to get worse. Three or four? Three or four. Uh, yeah, at least. I would say um, it was funny. There were several moments I, I got very emotional. I got very emotional first and foremost for both of them, for, for Rambir and Deepika. Yeah. Just for their personal relationships and knowing what they went through and knowing stuff about her personally and um, caring about them now after a year of exposure to them so i got that and but deeper was oh man there were some like 
one moment when it flashed back to his to the kid. Um, I mean, I, I there's I'm not sharing a lot just because of time, but there was some deeply personal stuff about um, not letting, you know, when you when you allow dreams to die that you dreamt as a kid, mm -hmm. that you shouldn't let die because there are some dreams that people hang on to too long. And it's why Simon Cowell was so great on American Idol, because there's people who should have died of those dreams and should, maybe should have never had them, <laughs> you know? So like, like right now, if I had a dream of being a major league baseball player, that would probably not be a very realistic dream at 50 years old. You can do anything. Yeah, no. <laughs> right? But probably. there are other dreams that people die to that they should never die to. And when you do that, you're, you're really, like he said, that beautiful moment in his monologue when he said, I, I, that snake was my childhood and I put my neck on it and I just killed it. And there's a lot of people who they grow up thinking that they should have, and forget about the dreams you didn't achieve. How about just the way you live? Like living life like a child. Uh, yeah. yeah but be celebrating <laughs> the fact that you're alive and enjoying the taste of something. And when you see people singing, singing with them, getting on a table and dancing. Yeah. And loving stories it made my heart so sad just the beginning looking at all of his childhood and the fact that he had to gamble with his grandma to go listen to some stories from a guy in the woods <laughs> <laughs> it did that made her that made like, her very that sad that is so upsetting <laughs> Did you oh, that buy? Makes so no, upset. of course not. That's no. I, I I love it, and I thought it was it was really really good and so so unique, and it's one of my favorite, honestly, stories out of Bollywood in terms of this, how creative, yeah. especially for the genre. This was one of the first films too that because there's been several we've seen. The majority of them, I resonate so much with um, the film. This reminded me a lot of an Amir Khan film. Yeah, with the so with the social message and the yeah. heart, and this was one that. Um, I would love to see, I would love to see American audiences watch this freaking movie. Oh, it's really digestible for But if they audience. didn't, mm -hmm. and we needed this story to be told in a way that it could be digested, this could be instantly translated into a film where you take all of those elements and turn it into something well, my wife, that Americans my wife could said digest. It was a similar uh, concept, not, not fully the same as um, a Roman holiday. Oh, I didn't see Roman Holiday. Oh, okay. Um, mm -mm. She said it was. So it was a similar concept. Very similar concept. Uh, yeah, she, like it's a, she's a smart one. I would want to. <laughs> I'd want to do this exactly this way. Yeah. Like I'd start it off with the quirky, weird theater yeah. thing. I would have the singers. I love that quirky, the weird theater thing. I thought it was really. Creative. I think that there's a few different films that are American films that kind of touch on the different subjects of just being an artist. Like you can go the route of La La Land and think yeah. about the dream there. You can go with Birdman. Like you can go. You can see elements of this yeah. in some movies, but this was so specific so good. and, and you, so good. Yeah, I think uh, Lexi would like watching it. Yeah, she watch she it. will Lexi. love this. I mean, yeah. Michael will love this, yeah, too. Yeah, it's, it's not... Everyone it, will love it this. Make, it didn't make me cry. It's just one that doesn't happen. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, has there been a movie that makes you cry? I don't think I've ever cried in a film. Mm -hmm. Marley and Me? No. no. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Came right I, close. I didn't watch it before. I watched it before I ever had dogs. Oh, oh so no. I so will not watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Post having dogs, because I'm pretty sure it will. <laughs> and we can't let that happen. And you gotta turn it off. <laughs> You've all seen the. You haven't seen it. No. What, Marley and Me? No. Um, Book no, of Mormon. No. <laughs> oh, no. There's a, I there's have a song called one. Turn It Off because it's about turning off your feelings. <laughs> You just push it down. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, obviously we liked it a lot. Thank you so much for recommending it. Yes. If you oh. haven't seen it, and I know a lot of you haven't. Go watch it. Go watch it. Right. You shouldn't be here anymore. Movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, if you yeah. haven't seen it. Because of the spoilers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, but yes, let us know what we should watch and review next. And justice for Rambeer. Justice for Rambeer and the director. And for the director. And hey, yeah. This is your well, first film. We, we also didn't get into, we didn't get into, again, the cinematography was so beautiful. Uh, the, the direction was beautiful. Was the music was well, glorious. They are Rahman. Oh, and it was <laughs> obvious from the beginning. But so much of, the, I want to pay attention to this cinematographer because so much of this DP's thumbprint is all over this the way it was all over Barfi and too often cinematographers um, their work 
is kind of like lost in the director yeah mm -hmm. uh, way too often mm -hmm. and this is a cinematographer who i think needs to be applauded irrespective of the director there and probably makes a lot of directors look better than they are because this <laughs> cinematographer is yeah. so good yeah yeah I, uh, thank you stupid baby for sending it to us and uh, going home with me ding 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 da, ding a, ding a, ding 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 a, ding a, ding a, ding 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 <laughs> ding ding a, ding 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 you don't know that song it wasn't quite oh, there. It's the one that the, no, the, on the. I know what the, you were the, trying the, to do. <laughs> 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 <laughs>